Tell me a little bit of the Filipino woman. I'm curious. I'm sure many of us are. Uh, yeah. Is there anything that stands out? What makes them unique? Tell me more about dating Filipina. No, if you're online talking to girls, there's a lot of scam and there's a lot of shenanigans. You don't know what's going on. Yeah. How do you feel with the Filipino people? Most of them, I, I will not try balut. Like that's something. Oh yeah, I've had it. You had it? Yeah. Oh my god, you're brave, man. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Living Abroad. My name is Alex and in today's video we're going to meet Aaron. Another in-depth interview with an American YouTuber actually that's here in the Philippines. Let's get to know Aaron but before we do that guys, do me a big favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, help me grow this channel and continue bringing content like this to you guys. Now let's go ahead and talk to Aaron. Hi, what's your name? I'm Aaron. Yeah. Aaron, tell me where are you from man? Uh, US. US and what brings you to the Philippines? Uh, well, I've always wanted to live in another country and before COVID, I actually was going, planning on moving, mm -hmm. and uh, but I had changed my mind, and then COVID happened. So I decided, um, I finally decided about a year ago that I'm going to actually do it. So okay. And yeah. what were you doing in the U.S. before coming to the Philippines? Uh, so I was working in a bar um, and uh, doing like selling stuff online, eBay stuff like that. But uh, I've always been in the restaurant industry. Uh, I was a server for years, and that's pretty much what I've always done, one way or another. So. Okay. And tell me, what was the turning point for you? Why did you decide to just like move to Asia instead of the, you know, American dream? Everybody wants to go to the U.S. Yeah. So, was there like a turning point for you when you decide, you know what, this life isn't for me? And tell me, why is it that you moved here or try to travel Asia? Well, you know, um, it's a lot of things. I would say one thing is, um, well, I'm actually sober, okay. so that's one thing. Uh, I've been sober for three years now. And uh, once I've kind of gotten sober, and people who are sober know that once you get your mental back and you get some kind of stability in your mind, you, you kind of realize how much time and energy and money that you've wasted from partying over the years. <laughs> and, uh, and I just kind of had an epiphany. It was like I just had this feeling one day, or it was over the course of, mo of time, mm -hmm. that this really, in my opinion, this is, like this, this is it. This is the blessing. You know, like this is... Uh, this is what you get, you know, you won the lottery, you're here in life, and it's, and it's, um, you got one shot at it, you know, so. No, I don't, I feel the same way, man, like, I used to work, uh, like everybody else, nine to five, and every day in the office, I just could not wait to get out, right? Yeah. And just, when I came here, the first, not here, but when I traveled to Asia back in 2012, I kind of fell in love with the Asian, like, the way things are in Asia, a little laid back, so, I hear you. Uh, so, um, are you single, are you married, do you have a girlfriend, tell me about your relationship stuff. So it's funny, a single. I'm mm -hmm. single right now, um, and it's funny too because I actually had a girlfriend back in the U.S. Yeah. and we were initially going to move to Asia together. Okay. Yeah, because about a year and a half ago, maybe a little less, I one day I was like, "Listen, I really want to go to Asia. I want to yeah. live in another country." And I talked to her one day, and she was like, "Well, okay, I'm, I'm, I'll go with you." Mm -hmm. um, and then in the course from that point, about a year ago or so, till when I actually came here a few months ago, things kind of went bad and. It, we wound up not working out. Okay. So. Have you dated anybody here in the Philippines? Yeah, I've dated. I've dated a little bit. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about the Filipino woman. I'm curious. I'm sure many of us are. Uh, yeah. Is there anything that stands out? What makes them unique? Tell me more about dating a Filipino. Um, well, for one, they're very patient. Mm -hmm. You know, um, that's one thing that's very attractive in my opinion. Really, really patient. Um, they like to be. They like their man to be the man. Yeah. You know, that's one thing that's nice too. Which is, I feel like that's like that in a lot of places. Yeah, it's, a, you know? it's something we want, but doesn't really happen every. Tell me a little bit of the Filipino woman. I'm curious. I'm sure many of us are. Uh, yeah. Is there anything that stands out? What makes them unique? Tell me more about dating Filipino. Um. Well, for one, they're very patient. Mm -hmm. You know, um, that's one thing that's very attractive in my opinion. Really, really patient. Um, they like to be, they like their man to be the man. Yeah. You know, that's one thing that's nice too. Which is, I feel like that's like that in a lot of places. Yeah, a, you know? it's something we want but doesn't really happen everywhere. So yeah. it's a good thing it happens here, right? Yeah. Um, and uh, and they're, they're fun. You know, they're fun and they speak English fluently. Oh, yeah, that's, you know, a, that's a bonus. A, yeah, that's a big bonus. I want to know how do you find meeting girls? Are they approachable? Is it easier than the U.S.? Tell me a little bit more about that. Get in depth. Give me the meat, the juicy, the meat and potatoes. Everything, all, all right. right. Well, yesterday I actually made a video. It's pretty funny. I went to the mall and they have these carts, mm -hmm. uh, like little, uh, like handicap carts almost, okay. that you can rent out. So I was cruising around the mall and I was, you know, just talking to girls. I thought it'd be fun. I was not. I asked them, you know, I just cruise next to them and just say hi, or you know, I asked for a couple numbers and just just for fun, honestly. Yeah, of course. But as far as like approaching, I mean, um, it's 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 easy. It's just like anything. Just if you go up, I think they're generally they're very shy. Okay. They're, it's sometimes very very like timid and and almost afraid. Yeah. So you kind of gotta 
make sure you they know you're coming. <laughs> you know, I mean, seriously, <laughs> that sounds like a predator. <laughs> No, I'm kidding, of course. No, no. I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure. They like you know, make eye contact. Don't just come up from behind and yeah. just and uh, <laughs> and just see. <laughs> you gotta say no. Don't come up from behind yeah. a woman. Yeah, no, but and uh, and just don't start them because sometimes they're very shy. Um, <laughs> but yeah, just it's just like anything. Just say hi. Yeah. You know, it's been good for me so far. It's not been uh, it's not been an issue. You know? Okay, awesome. Yeah. Have you had any bad experiences dating anybody here in the Philippines? Yeah. Um, not so far. No, I was just saying I've been kind of uh, just sticking to myself since I've been mm -hmm. here. So and um, just kind of doing focusing more on the YouTube. But no, nothing here. Honestly, there's you know if you're online talking to girls, there's a lot of scam and there's a lot of shenanigans. You don't know what's going on. Yeah. But other than that, I haven't had uh, too many bad experiences. I will say I was in Indonesia. Okay. And I uh, I met a couple of people that just it was not. What they, what they said. What, it, what, it, what, it, what the picture showed. It was, that's I don't what you know what do. was going video on. Video call. I learned that yeah. the hard way. I always Seriously. video call the girls before you meet them. It's just not worth your time. Yeah, video call. Ask them if they have Instagram, Facebook. Just cross reference yeah, check. Cross Seriously, reference you'll check. save yourself. Because all scammers, as soon as you ask for anything that's legit, they'll be like, "Oh, I don't use it." It's like, what Filipino girl doesn't have Facebook? Yeah, and you know, it's, not only that, if they say the camera's broken or you know doesn't yeah. work, that's an automatic no no for me. Yeah, it's so obvious. Now, yeah. How long do you wait to meet some girls online? Do you like wait a week, a month? Like, I, I want to get people's perspective because I don't wait longer than like two days <laughs> or three days. Yeah. Like, if yeah. you're not meeting me almost immediately, I don't even bother because like it's just a waste of my time so how about yourself how long do you wait seven, like how long do you text for whatever before you meet them it depends same thing maybe a couple days yeah. you know if it, it depends if i think they're real or not yeah that's okay. that's the biggest thing the biggest thing now is that i always try to make sure that they're verified on whatever the site is and 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 try to cross reference everything and, it, and if i think that if there's a little bit of skepticism because sometimes people are just more private yeah I, I try to wait and then see but if i know they're real and I want to hang out, I'll hang out with them as soon as possible, usually. You know, okay. just meet for coffee or something like that. Have you noticed a lot of, like, older men here dating younger Filipinas? That's something that... Yeah. Okay, yeah, for me, too, is a little bit surprised. How do you feel about that? I'm curious, as another young man, do you care or...? I mean, I think it's awesome. I think so, too. <laughs> and also, there's been a lot of... Not, not a lot of hate, but I never... When I was younger, maybe I didn't understand relationships the way I yeah. do now. But, yeah. of course, you'll see that here, and it makes sense to me. It's like a good trade-off, almost, right? So, yeah. um, you know... People gotta live, and age doesn't matter as long as they're adults, I think, so. Yeah. Okay. Now, how long do you plan to stay in the Philippines? What's your plan? Do you have anything going on? What's on your mind? So, I'll be, I will be here for another two months. That's the plan for mm -hmm. now. So, I extended my visa for two more months, and then we'll see how long I actually stay. Now, compared to some other people, foreigners I speak to, you're a lot younger, I feel like. How old are you? 30. 30, yeah. so. Yeah. Do you think there's a big difference between a 30-year-old making the move to Asia compared to maybe someone retired? I think there has to be, right? Do you have any concerns, any worries? Tell me about like some of the problems, challenges, things like that. Yeah, no, that's a, yeah, for sure. I think there is because I, I, before I came, I, I was thinking I either need to stay in America, mm -hmm. right? Because it, it really is. It's economically, I mean, you can't, it's one of the best places, right? Yeah. I mean, it's a free market. I mean, as long as you, whatever, basically what you put in is what you get out in America. I don't, I don't care what people say, you yeah. know, it's, um, as far as, as far as money wise. Um, but I was, I came to a crossroads roads where it was like, man, I either need to do this now, mm -hmm. or I need to like just work somewhere for the next 20, 30 years, retire, and then maybe come over. Yeah. Um, so, but as far as like concerns, yeah, I'm thinking like, man, I don't have a career right now. You know, I just yeah. started doing YouTube, you know, yeah. it's like, and uh, I'm going to be teaching online. Yeah, yeah, I came with a decent amount of money, but that only lasts so long, you know. So, okay. Speaking yeah. of money, tell me about some surprisingly expensive or surprisingly cheap things here in the Philippines. Because I found some different, I don't know, some, thought, some things I thought might be cheaper or more expensive. Some uh -huh. things I thought maybe a little bit more expensive or a lot cheaper. So what are some of your, like, experiences with cost of living here? Um, well... Certain things are definitely cheaper. I mean, there's there's a lot of Western influence here, mm -hmm. so there's a lot of Western brands, yeah. and they it's cheaper here. But sometimes they get away with similar prices, you know. So like for instance, TJ Fridays. Yeah. I was looking at the menu one day. It was like twelve, thirteen, fourteen hundred. I was yeah, like, like I don't what? know. <laughs> I was like, that's like more expensive yeah. than back home almost, you for know. Sure. So that was surprising. Um, but definitely the restaurants, I would say. 
And I think the electricity is expensive here yeah, too, right? It's pretty sure. similar. Uh, we're actually yeah. lucky, right? We're in a conference room, the air conditioning is on. Yeah, that and is the nice. reason why we're here, because outside we're going to do by the pool. There's so much noise, it stopped now, but so we came indoors. Okay, now let's move on to some other things. Now you're dating some Filipinas, but have you had a chance to interact with the locals and other people that you're not dating? How do you feel with the Filipino people? Yeah, well, I love the Filipino people. I mean, that's pretty much what I think that's across the board for everybody. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they're really cool. They have, so I'm half Mexican, technically. Okay. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of Spanish influence from in, in the Philippines. And I, I feel like Filipinos have like a, like a Latin American type personality vibe to okay. them. You know, like the way they interact. Um, so I, I like that familiarity with that. Um, but I like them. They're nice. You know, they're helpful. They like to laugh. You know, they were, everyone's chill. I think know. the biggest thing is the language thing where you can be yourself, make a joke, and they get it kind of thing. Where yeah. maybe some other countries, I, like I yeah. may not be myself completely. Not because I don't want to, but because the language barrier might be. Like, you can't. You can't, right? Yeah. I make a joke and they're looking at me like, okay, never mind. <laughs> yeah. It becomes awkward or whatever. Yeah, they don't take sarcasm and sometimes. That, yeah, that's, that's the stuff. other thing. They take everything too literally if they're yeah. not fluent in English, okay? Yeah. So tell me about some of your favorite places you've traveled here in Cebu or anywhere in the Philippines. Where have you been? So I've, on, I've only been to uh, Manila and Cebu. Okay. Yeah, and I was, same thing in 2018 when I came. Um, so I haven't explored too much. Um, but for, as of now, I really like Cebu. You know, okay. Cebu's nice. I, I need to go and, and explore more. I haven't had a chance to do that yet, but. Okay. Do you see yourself retiring or even marrying a Filipina? I'm curious about that. You know, I don't think so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> to be honest, not everybody wants to. Yeah, I don't think I don't I, who knows? I don't think so. But and retiring here, I mean that I'm a long way from retirement, yeah. you know, so I don't I'm not too sure where where that's gonna fall. Okay. But, Very cool. Yeah. Now what what's your you mentioned uh YouTube earlier, so do you have a channel or something like that? Tell me yeah. about that. Yeah, Aaron Around. Yeah, Aaron, Aaron around. around on YouTube. Just Aaron space around okay yeah. so i'm gonna yeah. go ahead and leave his youtube channel down below you guys can check that out for sure all yeah. right so what kind of content do you make on your youtube channel i want to know for you that don't know so basically right now it's just like travel and food stuff right now mm -hmm. um i'm trying to i'm going i'm traveling through asia and making videos about it basically and i'm trying to kind of figure out what route i want to take yeah. if i want to do more just to travel or mm -hmm. if i want to do more like the food because mm -hmm. i feel like it's tough you kind of got to pick a pick a lane almost. Yeah, for sure. And if you're right. too general, people don't, they can't connect to you as, yeah. as, you know, as much. Yeah. I hear you. What do you think of Filipino food? Have you tried any Filipino food? Yeah, I love, well, I love food in general. Mm -hmm. um, and I like, I really, you know, a lot of people I've heard say they don't like the Filipino food. Like a I lot. was one of those people. When I yeah. first came here, I couldn't like, I don't know what my palate wasn't used to, the, maybe the flavor or the way they cook things. I just wasn't, it wasn't for me, but now I'm going to really like it. So I hear what you're saying. Yeah, no, I like it. I, do you like all of it, or is there certain Most things where you just of, can't I, stand? I will not try balut. Like, that's something... Oh, yeah, I, I've had it. You had it? Yeah. Oh, my God, you're brave, man. <laughs> How was it? Tell me, describe it a little bit to me. So, I had it. I, had, I need to have it again. I actually had it back in the U.S. Okay. But, but it, honestly, the, like, the, the egg part of it was, like, the most tender delicate hard-boiled egg I've ever had. That was the flavor of yeah, it. Yeah, a baby, that's why. Yeah, I know. This <laughs> man's eating embryos out here. <laughs> okay. But it was, but the juice that's in it, you're supposed to like suck it out and it's, yeah, it's gnarly. It's gnarly. That's, but, I don't know, you can't pay me enough to do that, I think. All right, yeah. man, well, thank you for being here. I appreciate it. And yeah. I'll definitely go ahead, guys, check his channel out. I've seen some of his videos. He's really down to like earth, no BS kind of content. Gives you a lot of information. So go ahead to Aaron's channel. Tell him Alex sent you. Show some love the way you show me some love. And that's it for this video. Thank you for being here. All right, man. Awesome. Yeah, thank you. And that was Aaron, guys. I would love to know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Leave your thoughts down below. If you take the time to write, I take the time to respond. Go over and check out some of Aaron's content. He has a lot of good content about food and local people. So check out Aaron around. I'm going to go ahead and leave his link to his channel in the description down below. Check out Aaron. Tell him that Alex sent you. And that's it for this video. If you found this video informative, entertaining, or just want to show your support for myself at Living Abroad, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share this video, do whatever you got to do to show some love, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!